Hey everyone, it's Jana Verbakel, realtor in London, Ontario. As always, check us out online at londonsbest.ca. I had a great question. It was an honest question from a first time home buyer and it was, uh, where do I begin? <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Uh, and it's a great question because I think a lot of people are afraid to simply reach out to an agent um, in understanding this process. So the first thing that I will say is that by reaching out to an agent, you are not committing to that agent. So don't be afraid if you do call someone or meet someone um, that that person is someone that you have to work with. I think it's so important that you have a good rapport with the realtor that you end up working with. It's someone that you trust, someone that you feel is listening to you and someone who's really following up with you. So you're not constantly chasing them. It's someone who's really, um, you know, there as your kind of guide through this whole process. So where can you find an agent? Well, the best place that I would say is to ask family and friends for a referral from someone that they've worked with that they trust and just had, you know, an exceptional experience with. If they did not have an exceptional experience, then I would say look for another agent. I mean, this is such a huge process that I think you should be wowed by the agent that you work with through every single step. Um, so how do you find that agent if no one really knows one? Well, you know, I kind of like to think that when you go to open houses, as much as you're shopping for a house, you're also shopping for a realtor. So look for a realtor that you feel like you have a connection with. Sometimes that can be as simple as someone who's maybe in your age range, um, someone who kind of likes the same style of homes as you, and they really understand what you're looking for. It doesn't have to be that, but that's one thing. Um, really, I think listening is the key. So, you know, a, an agent who's going to ask you questions about what you like, what you don't like, what you've seen, how you felt about it, and an agent who is really not afraid to say, you know, stop what you're doing, let's, you know, kind of rein this back in, let's take some time, let's sit down, let's talk about what you want before we just go look at, you know, a bunch of houses. So those are all signs of a really great agent, and I would strongly recommend that if you do not have that, then go out and find one. Um, there's nothing wrong with interviewing agents, there's nothing wrong um, with not committing to someone if you don't feel 100% comfortable, um, which I'll do another video about. So anyway, those are my thoughts for today. If you don't know where to begin, uh, shop for a great agent, and that is the best advice that I can give you. Have a great day.